हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू पीजी पाठशाला आई एम डॉक्टर राजेश गौतम फ्रॉम डॉक्टर एच एस गौर यूनिवर्सिटी सागर मध्य प्रदेश टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट अ मॉड्यूल इंटाइटल मॉडल्स ऑफ नेचुरल सिलेक्शन फ्रॉम द पेपर इंटाइटल ह्यूमन पॉपुलेशन जेनेटिक्स सो लेट अस सी what we are going to learn in this module it aims to understand natural selection a blind process as one of the micro evolutionary force it aims to understand various components modes and types of natural selection it aims to understand various case studies of natural selection in human population as we know evolution in larger aspect can be defined as encompassing changes over time the various micro evolutionary forces contribute to the process of evolution natural selection being lead to the divergence of the individuals from their common ancestors in 1995 philosopher daniel dennett in his book darwin's dangerous idea called natural selection a blind process is the real one of the micro evolutionary process among mutation genetic drift and gene flow and has a unique role in adaptation and evolution as written by charles darwin in one of his book origin of species in 1856 the importance of selection lies in the power of selection accounting for unique and appreciable differences accumulated till the end resulting in fit and compatible of spring human placed in the higher order among the organization of life face basically the same adaptive changes as faced by all organism but among the human more among the humans most of the adaptation is culturally transmitted because of this complex form of cultural adaptation humans have adapted themselves to the varied earth's ecological habitats the theory of natural selection was proposed by charles darwin and alfred bellis both of them carried out an extensive study on natural world and added new observations which were further helpful in formulating the developing theories darwin more emphasized on the competition taking place within the population whereas bellis emphasized on the demand acquired by various species when subjected to different environment natural selection works with a bunch of different phenomenon and it was among the five vital theories given by charles darwin the other theories were evolution common descent reproduction and gradualism thomas malthus an 18th century economist published an essay on the principles of population in 1798 simply he stated people tend to have more children than can possibly survive and human populations have historically been kept in check by famine starvation and disease much of charles darwin's inspiration for his theory of evolution by natural selection came from his voyage on the hms b 
Beagle, which was started in 1831. The Galapagos Islands, a cluster of 29 islands, served as the cradle of evolution. These islands were relatively young and were never connected with the adjacent mainland of South America and was home to large flock of birds and would adjust themselves to the local conditions through the process of natural selection and with advent of time. They were different progressively from the original populations. Balesh and Darwin carried out an extensive study on natural world and added new observations which were further helpful in formulating the developing theory. Darwin moreover emphasized on the competition taking place within the population whereas Wallace emphasized on the demands acquired by various species when subjected to different environment. Natural selection is a mixture of both chance and necessity. Natural selection is not goal directed, it does not have a long term goal. The unequal survival and reproduction of organisms due to environmental forces resulting in the preservation of favorable adaptation. Over time, natural selection results in changes in the inherited characteristics of a population. These changes increase a species fitness that is survival rate. This can be further illustrated by this image. You can see in the center there is natural selection and which is being operated by competition for food, change in environment, predators, competition for mate and parasites. Here you can see various components of selections. See in image parents produces gametes by gametes zygote form and zygote developed into adults. In this way there is compatibility of selection, viability of selection and gametic and fecundity selection as well as sexual selection. Now let us see what are the various components of selection. At first level it is gamete selection whereas in the second level it is zygotic selection. In zygotic selection the viability or probability of survival of the genotype to adulthood is different. It also accounts for the survival of the individual organism and further its mating success which is whether the number of males affects the individual's number of progeny. In context of various component of selection, let me understand mating success will contribute to the sexual selection which will depend on the genotype of both mates. The second level operates between the parents and its gamete in gametic selection where the pressure is on the allele. An allele may affect the parent gametes ability to fertilize an ovum. Now let us come to discuss fitness. Fitness in simple term it refers to the probability of survival and reproductive success and it is equal to the average contribution to the gene pool of the next generation. The various component of reproductive success and fitness are probability of survival in various reproductive ages and average number of offspring laid down by females and 
males. The process of natural selection depends on the relationship between phenotype and genotype and fitness which further adds to evolutionary change. The fitness of a genotype is the average lifetime contribution made by an individual genotype of that population over one generation to another. Survival and female fecundity can be assigned as the component of fertility. This complexity of fitness depends on repeatedly sexual reproducing species during its lifetime. The term Darwinian fitness is often used to make distinction from physical fitness. A change in allelic frequency over the generations affect the Darwinian fitness, the alleles with higher fitness become more common and favorable. Let me understand how to measure the fitness or measures of fitness and it is visible in the diagram. There can be two kind of measures for fitness. One is called absolute fitness and another is called relative fitness. Absolute fitness accounts for the proportional change in each genotype by taking the ratio of the number of individuals at birth and survival till adulthood. Whereas the relative fitness is equal to absolute fitness of genotype divided by absolute fitness of highest successful genotype if the absolute fitness of all the genotypes would have been same the relative fitness would also be same for a total population of 2000 individuals 500 individuals have genotype capital a capital a 500 individuals have genotype small a small a and 1000 individuals of genotype capital A small a at birth. At the time of adulthood, all these organisms won't be able to survive due to harsh environmental conditions or maybe due to less physical fitness. Thus, out of 2000 individuals at birth, only 1500 individuals survived at adulthood. Let us see how we can calculate absolute fitness and relative fitness. At birth, there were 500 individuals having genotype capital AA, 1000 individuals with capital A small a, 500 individuals with small a small a. At adulthood, they remain 400, 900 and 200. To calculate absolute fitness, we divided 400 by 500, 900 by 1000, 200 by 400 and we got 0 0.8, 0 0.9 and 0 0.4 as absolute fitness. To calculate relative fitness, we divided 0 0.8 by 0 0.9 and got 0 0.8, 0 0.9 divided by 0 0.9 is equal to 0 0.1. 0 0.4 divided by 0 0.9 is equal to 0 0.4. In relative terms, this number means that for every 1000 individuals with genotype capital A capital A or capital A small a that survive only 40 with genotype AA. This type of variation in fitness is typical for recessive allele AA small a a and is harmful only when both the copies of this allele is inherited, not when only one copy is inherited. Now let me understand general modes of natural selection. The general principle involved in natural selection is 
selection of individual is solely determined by environment a change in environmental conditions result in the change of selective pressure natural selection can alter the frequency of heritable traits in three ways these are directional selection stabilizing selection and disruptive selection and these can be further understood by this image so dear students there are three mode of natural selection let me discuss one by one each first is directional selection individuals at one end of the frequency distribution do well it occurs due to change in the environment in a particular direction it favors the phenotype which has an extreme or non average character it alter the mean value of the trait in the population in one direction it eliminate the normal or average individual for example the phenomenon of industrial melanism is used to describe the evolutionary process in which light colored organism population becomes dark as a result of natural selection let me understand what is stabilizing selection stabilizing selection refers to the extreme varieties for a particular heritable character is eliminated from both the ends of frequency distribution it operates in a constant and changing environment it keeps a population genetically constant it favors the normal or average phenotypes it introduces homozygosity in the population this can be further understood by an example the human baby with birth weight 3.3 kg has less mortality rate whereas the human baby below 1.9 kg body weight or above 4.5 kg body weight has high mortality rate now let we understood disruptive selection diversifying or disruptive selection is a process that enhances the adaptiveness of population that live in heterogeneous environment previously homologous population breaks into several different adaptive groups for further illustration you can see this image extreme values have highest fitness and intermediate or mean values are relatively disadvantageous it occurs when a population previously adapted to a non homologous environment is subjected to divergent selection pressure in different parts of its distributional area let be understood the concept of relative fitness which can be related to natural selection by means of simple mathematical calculation or simulation see in this table there are genotype a1 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 a2 and a2 a2 we can calculate frequency before selection which would be p square 2 pq and q square the relative fitness of these genotype would be w11 w12 and w22 after selection there would be p square w11 2pq w12 and q square w22 frequency after selection would be p square w11 slash w bar and 2pq w12 slash w bar and q square w22 slash w for further understanding of this phenomena where p and q indicate the frequency of allele a1 and a2 in the present generation 
वेयर एस डब्ल्यू आर सिम्बलाइज एस मीन फिटनेस विच इज द सम ऑफ ऑल जीनो टाइप आफ्टर सिलेक्शन नाउ लेट बी अंडरस्टैंड स्टेप्स इन्वॉल्व इन सिमुलेशन ऑफ नेचुरल सेलेक्शन स्टेप वन बिफोर सेलेक्शन द एक्सपेक्टेड जीनो टाइप फ्रिक्वेंसीज ऑफ द पॉपुलेशन विल बी कैपिटल ए ए पी स्क्वायर इज इक्वल टू जीरो पॉइंट टू फाइव कैपिटल ए स्मॉल ए जीनो टाइप टू पी क्यू इज इक्वल टू जीरो पॉइंट फाइव जीरो एंड स्मॉल ए ए क्यू स्क्वायर इज इक्वल टू जीरो पॉइंट टू फाइव स्टेप टू लेट सी द फ्रिक्वेंसी एज पर जीनो टाइप बिफोर सेलेक्शन फॉर कैपिटल ए ए इट इज जीरो पॉइंट टू फाइव फॉर कैपिटल ए स्मॉल ए इट इज जीरो पॉइंट फाइव जीरो फॉर स्मॉल ए ए इट इज जीरो पॉइंट टू फाइव द फिटनेस वुड बी डब्ल्यू ए ए इज इक्वल टू वन डब्ल्यू कैपिटल ए स्मॉल ए इज इक्वल टू वन एंड डब्ल्यू स्मॉल ए स्मॉल ए इज इक्वल टू जीरो पॉइंट फाइव आफ्टर सेलेक्शन इट वुड बी जीरो पॉइंट टू फाइव मल्टीप्लाइड बाई वन जीरो पॉइंट फाइव जीरो मल्टीप्लाइड बाई वन and 0.25 multiplied by 0.5 this will give us the mean fitness which would be 0.250 0.500 and 0.125 the sum of these would be 8 0.875 now let be understood step 3 which involve normalizing the genotypic frequency for that we divide 0.250 by 0.875 0.500 by 0.875 and similarly 0.125 by 0.875 and it will result in the genotypic frequency is equal to 0.2857 0.571 0.2857 and 0.1429 it should be noted that the sum of all the normalized genotype frequency adds up to 1 further step fourth in which we have p is equal to f capital a a plus f capital a small a divided by 2 is equal to 0.287 plus 0.5714 divided by 2 is equal to 0.5714 q is equal to f small a a plus f capital a small a divided by 2 is equal to 0.1429 plus 0.57142 divided by 2 is equal to 0.4286 the impact of natural selection can be felt in a single generation here the frequency of ll q has decreased drastically from q is equal to 0.5 to 0.4286 and frequency of ll p has increased from p is equal to 0.5 to 0.5714 now let us understood types of natural selection darwin's theory of natural selection occurs in four steps first is over production second is variation third is competition and fourth is selection over production in which each species produces more of a spring that can survive variation each individual has unique combination of inherited traits competition individuals compete for limited resources like food water and space selection the individuals with best traits and adaptations will survive and have opportunity to pass on its traits to offspring so my dear students now in this context let be understood types of natural selection first is selection against recessive homozygotes second is selection against dominant alleles third is selection against 
codominant alleles. Fourth is selection against heterozygotes, and fifth is selection for heterozygotes. Let come to each one by one. First, we start with selection against recessive homozygotes. This type of selection favors harmful alleles where two copies of allele lowers down an individual fitness. In case of a lethal recessive, the fitness is zero. The model of natural selection can be best understood by understanding the major selection coefficient by measuring the selection coefficient and opposite of fitness which is the probability of individuals not surviving and not reproducing. Whereas the selection coefficient for heterozygote increases with generation as it carries only one lethal allele and passes it to the next generation. The allele frequency drops from q is equal to 0 0.5 to about q is equal to 0 0.2 after 20 generation. After selection against recessive homozygote, no heterozygotes are selected because the fitness is equal to 1 as illustrated by this graph. Selection against dominant alleles. The fitness of both the dominant homozygote and heterozygote will be reduced relatively to the recessive homozygote. Here the initial allele frequency are p is equal to 9 for dominant allele A and q is equal to 0 0.1 for the recessive allele A small a. The fitness value are W A A is equal to 1 minus S, W capital A small a is equal to 1 minus S and W small a small a is equal to 1. Allele frequency was derived for three different selection coefficient S is equal to 0 0.2, S is equal to 0 0.4 and S is equal to 0 0.6. This can be further understood by this graph. An interesting feature of this type of selection is that the dominant allele can be removed in one single generation as anyone having either the capital AA or capital A small a genotype will be eliminated and those with small a small a genotype will survive in the first generation. Now let be understood selection with the co-dominant allele. In this model of natural selection when the two alleles are co-dominant and there is selection is favored for one allele as the heterozygote that is capital A small a will show the effect of both alleles. This kind of natural selection is done by assigning highest fitness to individual to genotype capital AA and lowest fitness is assigned to genotype small AA no A allele and an intermediate fitness is allotted to the individuals with genotype capital A small a which can be further understood by this graph. The given graph shows selection against the codominant allele small a for three different values of selection coefficient. The frequency drops from q is equal to 0 0.5 to 0 0.1 after 20 generations of selection against codominant allele. Heterozygotes are selected against under codominance. The fitness of heterozygotes is 1 minus s by 2. In this model of natural selection, we assign a lower fitness to the heterozygote has been assigned as compared to the 
other two homozygotes. The initial allele frequency is greater than 0 0.5. The effect of selection will increase the allele frequency until Q is equal to 0 0.1. The graph shows when the allele frequency is 0 0.5, then selection acts to decrease the frequency of allele and has value Q is equal to 0 0.5, but when the allele frequency is equal to 0 0.5, there is no change. And this can be further understood by this graph which is shown in image. In the natural selection model for the heterozygote selection, it leads to an equilibrium value lying in the range of 0 to 1. There is no favoring of a particular allele over the other allele. This kind of selection for the homozygote is called balancing selection. In this, the heterozygotes have higher fitness when compared with the homozygotes. The relationship between fitness and allele frequency is parabolic as shown in graph, but the shape depends on S and T. The given graph provides an example for this relationship for three different sets of value of S and T. The law is parabolic but replaces with each value for Q. For understanding of natural selection, let me take some case studies of natural selection in human populations. In this context, let I will tell you that evolution occurs when good traits built up in a population over many generations and bad traits are eliminated by the death of the individuals. Then change occurs at the population not individual level. The rapid change are not as a result of natural selection but are instead changes in environmental conditions that is a primarily shift in uh, infectious disease and nutrition. An unfortunate truth is that many humans contribute to live in improvised environments without proper health care or diet and do not share with the existence of different conditions enjoyed by those living in other parts of the society or the world. Some case studies which gives an idea about how does it works and shows the evidence of evolutionary change in recent human evolution since the initial beginning of agriculture. For further understanding of balancing selection, we have hemoglobin S and malaria. Balancing selection refers to a selective process by which multiple alleles get added and are maintained in the gene pool of a population. A moderate to higher frequency of S allele or sickle allele are found in the populations inhabiting the areas of West Africa, Middle East, South Africa and India. Heterozygotes are selected for in malaria infested regions and selected against where malaria not found. You can visualize the sickle shaped red blood cells because of presence of LLS or sickle LL and persons those do not have this LL they have normal round shaped red blood carpels. Duffy blood group and malaria. Duffy blood group is defined by the presence of antigens on the surface of red blood cells. The gene of Duffy blood group is present on the chromosome 1 and consists of three codominant alleles 
f by 0 coding for absence of any Duffy antigen, f by a coding for a antigen and f by b coding for b antigen. In Caucasian, 6 antigen are produced by the Duffy locus. These are f by a, f by b, f3, f4, f5 and f6. It has been observed that f by a, b individuals are resistant to plasmodium ovale and plasmodium bivax infections because the invasion requires at least one of these antigens. This can be further understood by this image. Lactase persistence and evolution of human diet. Many humans today have developed lactose intolerance. Physical effect of lactose intolerance can vary and include fluctuance, diarrhea, blotting and cramps. The gene controlling lactase activity is present on the chromosome 2. The critical factor that explains global variation in lactase persistence is diet. This can be further understood by this image which is showing lactose transit through the small intestine undigested due to insufficient lactase activity on the intestinal surface. Then undigested lactose transit to large intestine where unadapted colonic bacteria attempts to ferment the lactose. Then lactose fermentation results in large quantities of gas causing fluctuance, distensions and acute diarrhea. Population indulged in dairy farming tend to have higher frequency of lactose intolerance. The fact can very well be explained by natural selection where lactase persistence was selected for the population engaged in dairy farming because of nutritional advantage among individuals who are able to digest the milk. Genetic adaptation to high altitude population. A change in adaptability was observed among the humans as our ancestors expanded out of Africa and spread across the world. One particular challenge occurred in adapting themselves to high altitude and overcome the physiological stress. When a low native enters a high altitude environment, the hypoxic conditions can be encountered by various individuals and an adaptive response is further generated like increase in the red blood cells and increase respiration, increased chest dimension, greater lung volume relative to high altitude. There are some genetic influences on high altitude environment, then some physiologic and biochemical traits as the Ethiopian and Tibetan populations differ in the level of oxygen in the blood. The level of oxygen saturation in the blood and levels of hemoglobin concentration. The evolution of skin color. Human skin color or pigmentation is a quantitative trait that allows an immense amount of variation between human groups around the world, ranging from very dark to extremely light. The wide range of skin color is affected by natural selection. Skin color is affected by geographical distribution and tend to increase and decrease with distance from equator, both north and south, as the amount of ultraviolet varies with distance. Ultraviolet radiation is strongest at the equator and diminishes 
with increasing distances. So, students, let us summarize what we have learned in this module. The theory of natural selection was proposed by Charles Darwin and Alfred Bellis. Both of them carried out an extensive study on natural world and added new observations which were further helpful in formulating and developing theory. Selection is primary of all the forces that cause differential survival and reproduction among the genetic variants. When the selective agencies are primary done by human beings and choice, the process is called artificial selection. Natural selection is the mechanism that drives evolution. This mechanism leads to an evolution of new normal which can survive in the harsh environment and bring a change in the life of that organism. Natural selection operates in two levels. One is in gametic selection, whereas the other one is the zygotic selection. The viability or probability of surviving of the genotype to adulthood is different. It also accounts for the survival of the individual organism and further its mating success which is, which is whether the number of males affects the individual's number of progeny. The process of natural selection depends on relationship between phenotype, genotype and fitness which further adds to evolutionary change. The fitness of genotype is the average lifetime contribution made by an individual's genotype of that population over one generation to another. There are three different modes of natural selection. One is directional, another is stabilizing and third is disruptive. Directional selection favors the variant at one extreme, the second mode removes extreme variants from the population and preserves the intermediate. The final mode favors both the variants. Natural selection due to difference in the genotypic viability is called heart selection as they fail to reproduce and result in their death. It is also termed as soft selection as all individuals in the parental generation reproduce by differing amount. There are five different types of natural selection. One is the when the selection is against recessive homozygote. The other is when selection is against the dominant zygote. The third one is the general dominance and the last two is heterozygote disadvantage and heterozygote disadvantages. One of the classic example of natural selection and balancing selection in human population is change in the allel frequency of hemoglobin S which is selected for the malarial population. Here the highest fitness is that of heterozygote relative to homozygote genotype and there are two kind of homozygote. One is AA genotype and another is SS genotype whereas the heterozygote is AS. Change in diet, 
change in skin color all are the various aspect of selection in natural selection which has lead to adaptation of human in harsh condition humans have moved to high altitude and have adopted genetically various physiological and ecological stress human evolution is not ceased but continues both culturally and genetically due to a rapid demographic and cultural changes has led to a variant form and pattern of genetic diversity among humans thank you